हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू सैनर वेब यूट्यूब चैनल और इन दिस वीडियो वी विल क्रिएट वन डायनेमिक पीडीएफ एंड सेंड दैट पीडीएफ एज ए अटैचमेंट इन योर मेल बाय यूजिंग पीएचवी सो हियर वी प्रीडिफाइंड क्रिएटेड वन लाइव डेमो फॉर यू सो वी विल चेक दैट लाइव डेमो फर्स्ट हियर यू कैन सी वी क्रिएटेड वन लाइव डेमो हियर यू कैन सी वी लिस्टेड आउट सम कस्टमर डिटेल एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ई this pdf to your customer then here you can see this invoice how will display and if you want to email this pdf to your customer then you need to click on this email pdf so when i click on this email pdf now your message will send to your customer so let's check that mail will receive to your customer or not or i will explain this whole code to you so you will configure this mail functionality in your project right so let's check that email will receive to your customer or not let's check that my mail id now click on this so here you can see you will receive this invoice in your mail let's open that invoice here you can see we received that email 1136 am so here you can see 11:36 am so let's download that pdf and also open that pdf so let's verify so here you can see so this is how this email attachment will work now if you want to configure this code into your project so you must have to follow our blog i will i will share this blog link in my video description so you will get this link from my video description right now here you can see we use one tcpdf library to generate pdf and php mailer library which is used to send an email and if you don't know how to configure this code then follow our blog so this is how this email send functionality with attachment will work right now if you want to configure this code into your project then i will share this blog link in my video description so you will get this link and follow our blog here you can see we will use tcpdf for generating a pdf and php mailer library which is used to send an email right with attachment so here you you simply follow these steps right in a step 1 we created or we execute some sql statement which is this is a sample data which we we, we will use to generate an invoice right so simply you must have to copy paste this sql statement and execute this sql statement into your database right so in a step 1 you simply need to ex execute some sql statement now you need to create one database connection dot php file so we will go to our project so here you can see we created one folder like generate pdf and here you can see we create one database connection file why we are using a database connection file because we will get the data from the database and that data will be display or use on pdf so that's why we are using a database connection so here you can see you must have to pass your host name username and password right so simply you need to copy paste this code into your database connection file and after that you need to create one index.php file right so here you can see we create one index.php file there is we will display our all the customer data here you can see we will display all the customer data here you can see we display our customer data here you can see we use our database connection file which we have already created and inside this connection file here you can see we get data from the database so we created one table like invoice mst so we simply get that invoice data or customer data and here you can see we write some we use 
while loop to display our data so we will one by one display our data so here you can see we will display our data so here you can you must have to remember here we will pass one action like action is equal to view right so here you can see when you click on this view pdf at the time we will pass view action and after that we will pass download action and then upload and then email also we will pass one id it means when you click on this button at that time we will pass one id with one action so here you can see we will call one file like pdfmaker.php so we will simply open that pdfmaker.php file so in this file you can see we use database connection file and here you can see we include one tc pdf library which is required to generate your pdf so simply we include that tc pdf library so here you can see i already uploaded all the library file inside this tc pdf folder so you must have to include this folder into your project right i also share this whole code with you so you can download all the file and all the library right so you must have to include this library after that you can see we will get our master id so here you can see we pass dynamically master id inside this mst underscore id attribute so that attribute will be catch here and that data will get from the database so suppose i click on this view pdf at that time my mst id will pass as a 2 but when i click on this button at that time my mst id will pass as a 1 so dynamically we get the data from the database so simply we write a one select query after that you can see we get all the detail right now this is the most important code to generate an pdf so simply copy paste this code and here you can see we dynamically display our customer name customer mobile number and everything and here you, you can also see we line item will display by using this so this is a when you click on this here you can see we'll display our line details so here you can see we display that line detail by using this while loop so you must have to set your content inside this content variable right so here you can see we make one content variable and inside this content variable we will dynamically generate our pdf and that content variable pass inside this write html right so this is how your pdf will be generated right so you must have to use this code to generate an pdf right so you must have to use this code i will set this whole code so you will get idea or you can use this code right now the most important when i click on email at that time suppose when you click on this email at that time my action is equal to pass is equal to so here you can see when i click on this email pdf so at that time my action is equal to email so here you can see when i click on email pdf at that time i have a pass my action is equal to email so so here you can see suppose you have to pass your action is equal to you then this code will be called and if you have to pass your action is equal to download so you must have to pass this action and you can see by using this i attribute you it means your inline view will be display and if you pass d it means download your pdf now you can pass action as a email so this block will be called right so here you can see we will pass our file location and file name by using this method you can upload your invoice file into one location so here you can see we uploaded our invoice file in this location here you can see uploads so that upload 
so here you can see we created one folder like uploads right so inside this upload fun folder we will store our all the invoice now how to attach that invoice in your email so for that the most important code you need to require or include this php mailer library right so i also set this php mailer library so you can download this php mailer library from uh, my video description i will provide that link right so here you can see we simply design one email template like dear customer please find attached invoice copy and then thank you now the most important you must have to pass your subject your from mail id and from name here you can see my from name is signer web technologies right so this from name is also passing from here and here i pass add address it means to mail id if you are creating dynamic mail id then you must have to pass your dynamic variable here right now i hard coded email id will pass here if you want to create your dynamic variable then you must have to pass your dynamic variable here it means to mail id if you want to cc mark then you can use add cc and if you want to bcc mark then you have to use add bcc right and the most important how to attach your pdf into your email for that you must have to use add attachment function this is a mail php mailer function add attachment you must have to pass your file location and your file name which is we have already uploaded on our one folder so here you can see we pass this file location and file name inside this add attachment this is the most important code if you are not assigned this add attachment then your file attachment will not work so this is how this add attachment will work and you must have to pass your message body which we have a simply write it down like dear customer please find it as invoice copy so here you can see dear customer and thank you right so this is our content which is passed inside this message html and here you can see we call one send function by using this function we will send an email to your customer or to your email id right and finally we will pass one message like message sent or you can change your message as per your requirement now now here you must have to remember you must have to configure your class php mailer dot php file because if you don't configure your class php mailer dot php file then your email will not sent so you must have to configure your username or your port number and host name and everything so you must have to go to your class php mailer file so if you don't know how to configure this host name port number so i already make one demo for you so you can search inside this php mailer in my blog so you will get idea how to configure this php mailer file i already make so here you can see i make one simple demo or make one blog for you so you will get idea how to configure your php mailer file so you must have to see you must have to pass this all the detail right you must have to pass this host name port number username and password so you must have to while you are using my code at that time you must have to configure your class php mailer file or inside this class php mailer file you must have to change your host name port number and everything right and and i also explain this all the view pdf download pdf and upload pdf in my another video so you will get uh, this video in my youtube channel so you can search my youtube channel signer web you can go to my youtube channel and there there is one video which available where i explain all the detail of this how to generate how to create how to download 
or how to upload PDF. So I already make that video, right? I also said this video link in my video description. So if you have any query while set up this code into your project, so you must have to comment, write it down, comment in comment section. And I hope you will like our video and subscribe our channel. And thanks for watching this video.